Hi everyone! Welcome! Today I had this idea that I would do my book haul outside because it's absolutely gorgeous. I really don't know if this is going to work with the lighting or the sounds or anything, but I thought I'd give it a try because again, fantastic weather today. I just recently purchased my first haul from Book Outlet and I'm pretty excited about it. It did take a little bit longer to get here than I kind of guessed it would, but again, it wasn't too bad and I got some really, really good deals. Um, I think I ordered this like on the 26th of June and today is and today is July 11th. So again, really not that bad, but um, when you're looking for books, you're just kind of impatient sometimes, you know? So anyways, um, with the book outlet, a lot of them are bargain book versions that you can buy and I think everything that I bought was a bargain book and that just says that it means that it was purchased from various publishers and in most cases have a small dot or a line on the edge of the book. They may also have a price sticker from the original store they were returned from. So I'll be interested to see like what my quality of the books are, if there's like major markings or whatever. Because like I said, this is my first one. I also have two books that I purchased from Amazon and I'll show those at the end of the video. But let's get in here to the book outlet. Ooh. Okay, so the first thing I'm seeing here is the Flat Stanley Worldwide Adventures. And this is a little set of four books. And it comes with the Mount Rushmore Calamity, the Great Egyptian Grave Robbery, the Japanese Ninja Surprise, and the Intrepid Canadian Expedition. We just recently discovered Flat Stanley, and his first book was so fun, I thought I should definitely add some to our actual library. And as I can see, there is a little mark on this, and the plastic's torn, but overall, like, they're still in the little protective case. Everything's good. There's no big issue with this. And so these, I think, are going to be super fun to add to my morning baskets because, you know, they're just, um, specifically about different areas and I think that'll be really really good to add in to that so first one that's a thumbs up for me who was King Tut um, we just recently discovered some of the who was books also and we're liking them and she is obsessed with Egypt so I wanted to pick up a few extra things for that I am seeing that I've got a little price sticker here but that's no big deal to me um, Oh, maybe we got a little red thing right there, but and I don't know. Yeah, that that's probably something because it's a bargain book, but um, okay, no big deal at all. The book looks brand new, so that this another. I'm I'm pleased with the quality of this. This is just like a, a new book. I've gotten a couple of packages from Amazon lately that come in worse than this, and they were brand new. So here we have. Where are the Great Pyramids? If I can get a hold of it. Fold out map inside, so that's fun. I see the little red dot on this one. Nothing on here. Um, it's like the cover has been opened and that's about it. This is fun. And here's the little map that we can pull out. So yeah, that's, that's cool. Where are the Great Pyramids? This, I don't know if you saw my last book haul, but I got a Egyptian magnified book. And when I, I ordered that one and I was so excited about that. And then when, when I saw this was on the book outlet, I had to grab it. So we've got the sticker up here, $13.99. FYI, I didn't pay $13.99. I wish I had my little invoice here so I could tell you what I did pay for them. But it was, I'm thinking maybe like $9.99 if even that. But this is super cool little book. We're, she still hasn't got to see her Egypt one yet. I'm saving that for a fun morning basket. And the same thing with this, I'm going to kind of debut this in a Pirates video. And I just recently had um, a viewer comment that I should get the Who Was book for Blackbeard. And I thought that was perfect timing because I was wanting to do a pirate thing and I need to hunt down the Blackbeard Who Was to add with that. But like I said, this is a super cool book. You have this magnifying glass at the front and then pretty much it tells you things and you find all of these objects that you see all over the place. So really, really interesting books and they're just super fun having this little magnifying glass here. Let's look at the back. I don't see, again, this is a bargain book. So I think the only thing that I'm getting here is this price sticker on here, which no big deal. 
Oh, <laughs> you would think it's been forever since I placed this because I forgot everything that I ordered, but I got the story of Ferdinand. We love the Ferdinand movie. It's so cute, and so I thought it would be really neat to have this because we haven't actually ever read the book with it. Again, this was a bargain book, and I got this little red dot. That's all I've got. There's nothing on it. So, oh, this is super exciting. I'm going to have to bust this one out pretty soon so that we can read that together. Oh, my the book without no pictures for june she had this book reading contest that i was having her do to see if she could mark off 16 blocks by the end of the month with her reading by herself and when she did she got the book with no pictures which is the the first book here and she loves that if your kid hasn't read that you should check it out because it, they just think it's hilarious because you have to say all these funny words and when I saw this on the book outlet I knew I wanted to add this in so this is my book with no pictures by BJ Novak and then you put the kids name in there and you fill in the blanks and so this will be really really fun so every day everyone must eat blank for a breakfast and so the funny thing about this is that they're saying that whoever reads this book has to say what's on the line. And super, super cute. Again, this looks great. Ooh, we got some stickers. That's fun. Boo-boo, <laughs> but Oh, goodness. Funniness. So I don't see anything wrong with this one. Nothing. I mean, what? what? Is that a line? I don't know. It didn't look like it. Also, can we just take a minute to note my nails here? I painted them and I'm not very pleased with them. But do you remember like when we were kids maybe painting our nails with white out? It made me think of that. Crazy. When I was young in the mountains, I don't know why I got this. It's something I've never even heard of. Um, looks like I've got a little red dot on this. But just seeing it and then I saw that it had this little honor book on it, I just thought it was something I wanted to add. So it says, when I was young in the mountains, growing up in the mountain was special. Grandmother made hot cornbread and fried okra. Fri fried okra, she's already got me there. So this is exciting. Again, I don't know what this is, but it just looked like a neat book to add to the collection. And this was, when I was young in the mountains. Another unit study that I'm going to want to do later on in this year is on Native Americans. So when I saw this, I thought that would be a good thing to go ahead and add to my collection for that and so this is the very first Americans and it's long before Columbus landed in America hundreds of groups of people had already made their homes here and so this will be pretty interesting to read about and talk about with her again the only mark I'm getting is this little bitty red dot on the outside everything else looks everything else looks like brand new I don't even have a price sticker on this one to go along with that, we've got the Trail of Tears. And again, I was thinking of this for adding in with my Native American unit study. So this will be another good one. I've got teeniest little red dot, brand new book. So guys, I, I can definitely so far suggest ordering from the book outlet. Millions of Cats. This is another one that I don't think I've ever read. I've got two little red lines on this one. But I saw this little placard here the honor books and usually when something has this it's just usually a pretty good classic book a picture book in a million and the title alone seemed pretty interesting so millions of cats on with some more Egyptian additions to our library and so I picked up the National Geographic Kids Mummies so this will be a fun little addition, kind of creepy, but I've got the little red lines right here too. That's all I'm seeing. Have you guys ordered from Book Outlet before? If you have not, definitely check them out because this was quite a savings that I ended up getting through them and I will be using them again for sure. So let's go on to this next one. It was Ancient Egyptians Sticker Book create extraordinary Egyptian sticker scenes. So, you know, stickers are really fun. What kid doesn't like stickers? And it's got Egypt on top of it, and so this is gonna be a win-win for sure. And I'm trying to find the stickers. Oh, here we go. So here's the stickers in the back, okay. I wonder if they are reusable, does it say? 
It doesn't say, because we've gotten a couple books where you can like take them off and put them on, take them off. I don't know if you can with this one, but either way, it'll be really fun. What are you waiting for? Put on your loincloth and walk like an Egyptian. That gives me an idea. That would be really, really fun. We're going to be doing poetry tea times like at least once a month. And the tea time that we have maybe where we do another Egyptian unit study, we should totally dress up in like not loincloths but you know just like similar to what the egyptians was that would be fun another sticker book here we have paint by sticker for kids i'm going to be putting this away until it's time for halloween but we have one of the paint by sticker books and we really really like it and so you have these stickers in the back and they're all numbered and then you find the page that coordinates with it and you put all the stickers on there and then you get this image on the back so this was like at 9.95 I again I didn't pay that I've got this little black line everything else looks great I don't see anything wrong with this this is a fantastic deal that I got on this one it's super fun oh it says includes glow-in-the-dark stickers so that's super neat so like I said I'll be putting this up until October note to self I put this book away for October. Do you guys ever do that? Set something aside and then totally forget you did it? Hopefully I won't do that here. Oh yeah. Amazing activities for Minecrafters. She loves Minecraft and Roblox, but super into this right now. I thought this was a really, really good find. We don't have anything like this. Like We don't have any Minecraft books like this. And she is really, really getting into word searches. Here, spot the difference, crossword puzzles, dot to dot, mazes, and much more. This is exciting. I think what I will do is she's actually finishing another um, book chart for July. And this, along with something else, will probably be her surprise for finishing that off. So usually I give her like a little book and then like a special treat, like a big s'mores or an ice cream sundae or something like that. So I think I'm going to save this for the end of July and then she'll have this as her little treat for finishing that then I picked up we the kids for my state requirements I have to cover the United States Constitution for every elementary year and I saw this and thought that would be a good thing to go ahead and pick up because I thought it might be easier on her level of something to understand so I've got this little oh I forgot to look here Okay, so on my Minecraft book, I actually forgot to look on that. So I have a black line on that, and that was it. Everything else looks pretty good. So anyways, we got the little red here. I feel like I rambled there for a minute, huh? And so we have We the People in order to form a more perfect union. And so this is kind of looking at it from... It's got little kids all through it in order to... So this is neat. This is fun. I like this. I'm glad that I... I'm glad that I picked this up. So it kind of explains what they mean and just kind of helps break all that down. So super cool, great condition. Again, guys, super great. The last thing that I have in for the book outlet is this everything you need. Big truck just drove by. Um, so everything you need to ace math in one big fat notebook. I have seen these books all over and I like them as well. I do see, like I don't know if you can tell, but the cover's kind of messed up here. Like it's broken on the corners. So this is the, the one that's in the worst condition, and even that, and that's not bad. Um, I seriously got one from Amazon the other day, and they threw a book in there with like two or three other objects that were like floating around in this big box, and my pages were bent. I was so irritated. I'm like, come on, be nice to books. But I've got this big long black line across here and I just thought this would be a really really good addition to homeschool in case you know we need to be able to break something down a little bit better. We use Dimensions Math which we love but we are going to be getting into bigger things before long and it never hurts to have sources. Um, so yeah besides that I mean the back and everything we don't have any lines on here it's just kind of these bent, bent covers here. So let me show you the two things that I got from Amazon. This year, one of the things I'm wanting to incorporate is like an evening nighttime basket where I have a couple things that I want to make sure that we do at the end of each day. And I saw this book, Q&A, A Day for Kids, 
three years 365 questions this is so cute guys i already checked it out a little bit but like i said it covers three years so you can type in right here or write in 2020 2021 2022 you know whatever year you happen to pick this up and it says march 11th and so on march 11th we've got what do you wish you had more time for these days so that might be a little bit deep for a six year old, but it'll be interesting to see what do we say at six, what do we say at seven, what do we say at eight. This is so, so cute. Uh, May 15th, what seems dangerous to you and why? May 16th, how do you feel when you look at the stars at night? So I mean, there's some pretty deep stuff in here, but then we've got um, what wild thing would you like to do, but you don't? What games do you like to play? So I think this is too fun, I love it. And so I wanna make sure that I have like this evening routine that I start so that I can make sure that this is something that we're filling out every day because this is gonna be super, super special to have. And to go along with my evening basket, I have this Sing a Song of Seasons, a nature poem for each day of the year. This is such a pretty book. It's not a cheap book, for, but it's beautiful and it's so nice and it, I mean, it's big. I mean, you have a poem for each day. It's gonna be pretty big. So let's see, let me get a, here, let me show you. Here's a who was book. And then here is this book. So you can see it's, it's pretty substantial and quite thick. But you have all of these poems that you can read every day and I figured our morning basket isn't necessarily done of a morning, it's done throughout the day, and so it's a little more sporadic on when we use it. And I thought this would be a really nice, calm way to kind of end the day with this super sweet little conversations journal and this poem book. I'm gonna add some more. Of course, we have our like our reading that we might put in there too, like more of a nighttime reading. But but this is just super sweet. So if you enjoyed today's video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, please consider subscribing. I would love to have you join my team and not miss out on any of the videos I've got coming up. Nice book haul from Book Outlet. Again, if you haven't tried them out, try them out. I'll put their link down in the bottom so that you can get straight to their page a lot quicker. But I'm really, really impressed with all the quality that I've got. And um, it'd be interesting to see what I can come up with next time. So I gotta know, did anybody else paint their nails with white out when they were kids? This fingernail polish has me cracked up about it. I just can't take it off because I keep thinking about that. So <laughs> leave down in the comments below if you ever painted your nails with white out when you were kids. So I hope you guys have a great day and I'll see you in my next one.